Okay, in this video we're going to draw jewelry. Um, uh, and you're gonna draw this with me and then you're gonna draw your own, uh, your own jewelry. Um, so, make sure that you've got a pencil um, so that you know what, uh, so you can erase. But let's, let's just quickly talk. We've, we've done a little bit of perspective drawing, hopefully. Um, now we're gonna draw jewelry in three views. And we're gonna draw it in a top view, a finger view, and then a side view. So let's just, let me just show you, give an example of this, okay? Here is a ring, okay? So the top view would be this view right here, right? It's, the, it's what you see from the top. The side view would be this view, what you see from the side. And the finger view would be what you see from uh, as it's on your finger, like that. Okay, so top view, side view, and then finger view. So to help us with that, um, we've got, uh, you should have downloaded the paper and you have these, this paper in front of you. Now, we have these three different shapes and it's just repeated down here. We have these three different shapes here. And that is because we actually have wax that matches this, these shapes. So we have just a round with a hole in it, with thick round. Then we have this kind of off-centered uh, opening with uh, heavier on the top. And then we have the, the flat top. Um, so that's why we have these different shapes because that's what the wax it looks like. So we're going to draw using this and we're going to do top. We're going to do, uh, you, you guys are going to do all three of these. You're going to do three with me and then you're going to do three by yourself. And if you want to go online and look at some, some rings to get some ideas uh, or to get different views, you can. Um, but, so for this top one, we are going to, for this, uh, for this one right here, we're going to do this, um, this signet ring, okay? Now, it's pretty simple once you think about it, okay? So this top view is literally just the circle with a little bit of this side right here. So, if I come down here, and I go into this view. So if I do this, the top view is going to be just the circle here. And you want to try and center that circle if you need to, you can erase. If you've got a protractor, that would help. And then you see it kind of from the top view, it kind of bows out. So it kind of bows out a little bit here. Like that. And then on this side, same thing. So there's the top view. Now the side view looks like that. And then it comes down. Actually, it's going to up a little bit here and that's that's the side view and I can fix this a little bit So 
So there's my side view. Now my finger view, and this, this these all should line up. So the center of the the top should be in line right here, and then this should be the center right there. So this will come down to about here, because if I see this right there, and then this, they, sh they all kind of correspond. So that should go down a little bit. But so this right here, so there's the top. And then it comes down. Like that. Okay, so finger view, top view, and then we have the side view. And this side view is a little skewed because it's not as wide as the other one, as the actual drawing. Okay, so this is, we'll put silver signet. Now this right here is called a signet ring. Uh, a lot of people will engrave uh, or carve out their initials or their family initials. So that's why they have that, okay? All right, so we're gonna now move to the second one and we're gonna draw this ring. And this is similar to the signet ring. So if we start, let's start with the finger view and if we start with the finger view, it kind of it flattens off right here, comes down, and then like that. And actually, if I look at this, this is a lot closer. So it comes here. So there's the, there's the finger view. Now let's go top view. So going off of this, if I draw kind of a, a line here, my ring shouldn't be any wider than that. So this top is gonna be right there. So There's the top view. We got this little spot for a little square. And then it comes down. At an angle. Like that. Okay. 
Notice this, once again, this right here, the, on, the top, on the finger view, the side, they're not as wide. You're, you're, stay, you're trying to stay as, as close to this as possible. Now, for the side view, it's gonna come here, and it's gonna come that high, okay? So, for that side view, we've got comes down just at a normal angle. Not at a super steep angle. Just like that. But then we have That ain't though that this area right here. Okay, so top view, side view, finger view. Now this next uh, ring, we're not gonna draw from an actual ring. We're gonna draw from a drawing. So this right here is the drawing. So we see, we can kind of see what it's gonna look like. So let's if we if we we know it kind of flattens off at the top, and then it, it kind of has the same idea as the signet rings. So I'm gonna start by putting a line across. And it's not gonna go any higher than that. And I know that there's this line coming down right here. So from the side view, you're not going to see these two angles. You're just going to see lines. So it's going to be like that. And then it's going to come down like so. Like that. And actually, that angle right there is a little off. So, and then you kind of see the stones right here. Okay. So from this view, let me fix that. This line right here is this line right here. Okay. Now, this line helps us gauge it. So we're going to draw the top now. The tr top. Actually, this line should be over just a little bit. The top is two rectangles, so we're gonna, it's gonna go like this. Right, because this line goes up over to here. And then this line right here overlaps a little bit, so it's gonna be about right here. And then this is going to Go out to about here, and this is going to go out to about there, 
And then if you see, it's actually gonna swoop down. This is the bottom of the ring right there. Okay. Now from the side view, so that's what it looks like from the top. Now from the side, it looks like you've got this. That's what it looks like from the side because it's split right here. So this line right here, you're gonna it's gonna be right, it's gonna you're gonna see it right here. So you're gonna see this side of the ring, and then this part right here is the other side of this right here. So I'm drawing as if you can see it. It's as if it's a see-through ring. So I'm seeing this little box right here is this box right here. And then it cuts back and loops around up to here. So those are our, our, our three drawings, okay? So draw those with me. You should have been following along and drawing these with me. The simple signet ring. Side, finger, top, side. Then we had this ring, finger, top, side. And then we have this ring. Okay. Now that you've drawn the three rings with the instructor, you have an idea of how to take it from a perspective or a three-quarter view into three views, the top view, the side view, and the finger view. Now what you're going to do is you're going to, with the paper that you have, you are going to select three of these images found below, and you will draw them in the three views. So if you look at the, the paper, you have three views. You've got the, or three drawings from Canvas. Top view, you have all three of these right here. You will select one, uh, you'll select three of these rings and you will draw them. Now, it, um, fit whichever one is best for the form that you're given. Uh, if it's a smaller ring you might want to use this circle one if it's a larger ring you think it, it might fit better on this uh, kind of uh, flat top or this offset uh, circle but you're going to take this paper and you're going to draw those three rings um, and you're going to draw them you're going to select one of them or sorry three of them and you're going to put the number on top and you're going to draw it uh, in those three views Okay, after you draw, so here are some examples, right? These are more examples of the, th of the three views. And this one right here, you've got the top, the finger view, and then the side view. And then this one, the top, the finger view, and the side view. This one is, is basically all four views. You've got this perspective or three-quarter view. You've got the top view, the finger view, and the side view. So examine these pictures, find out or kind of learn and kind of see where things went um, accordingly. Once again, if you notice in these pictures, they all line up accordingly. The edge of this right here lines up perfectly with the edge right here and the edge right here line up perfectly. And this little 
these little three prongs line up perfectly here, and these three line up here and here, and then the height and the height here. So be aware of that, um, and uh, and and draw accordingly. You will be graded on your completion, accuracy, and quality. So take your time and work thoroughly, um, and, and um, don't rush through this this work. So. Uh, do the uh, you just finished the three with the teacher now it's time to draw on your own thank you good luck